Hey, what's up? It's me, Jessica J, and I was just wondering if you've ever sat and thought to yourself, how come she only wants me when I don't care about her anymore? Well, I'm glad you asked, because today we're going to go over the six reasons women start chasing you once you stop chasing her and how to get her turning on her toe to come after you. Okay, so you're probably very well aware of the fact that when you start turning on her, maybe start acting like a jerk, maybe start giving her attention when you're used to giving her a lot, that all of a sudden, now she wants even more of your attention and starts giving you even more as well. Well, the very first reason that happens is because once you give her time and space to miss you, she actually will. I usually explain this with a toaster analogy. So, I have a toaster in my apartment, but I never fucking notice it. Why? Because it's there every day. However, if I were to wake up tomorrow and that toaster was just fucking gone, I would be like, where's my toaster? Somebody get me my fucking toaster. I really miss my toaster. A lot of times if we have things readily available to us, it's hard for us to really appreciate them. So if you take yourself out of the mix for a moment, especially if she's used to seeing you all the fucking time, what that'll do is it'll trigger her brain to automatically think of you because now there's this space left open in her life that forces her to think about what was in that space, which was you. So once you give her that literal space where she's forced to think about you, she will let you into her little little space in between her legs. Reason number two, women tend to remember all the good they feel about somebody versus all the bad when given that time and space away from them. You probably know plenty of girls that chase after and go for assholes, am I right? Well, the reason being for this is because assholes tend to take time away and separate themselves on a very casual basis. So when given that time and given that space, not only are they forced to think about this person who has presented her with this absence in her life, she also tends to remember the positive things more. This is definitely why I had no problem fucking dudes with no job, no education, no cars, and still living with their moms back in the day. Because it's the positive stuff that really affects us the most. And once the positive and the negative is gone, it's the positive stuff that stays in our pussy memory. Number three, we women are used to guys like bending over backwards to like be nice to us. So when you don't bend over backwards and act like you don't give a shit about us, that makes us go, hmm. Really, there's no other explanation for that except that while most guys chase tail and she's used to that, you know, guys being lap dogs for her, guys being so thirsty for her, like, hey girl, what's up girl, what's up girl, what's up girl, or hey, you're really pretty, I think you're really beautiful, oh my god, I would love to take you out sometime, when are you free, I would love to take you out sometime. When they come across a guy who's like, eh. us girls are like, wait, like everybody wants me, why doesn't? Really, it's just setting yourself apart from all the other guys out there. I like calling this being the wolf among the dogs. So stop being a lap dog, stop chasing for tail, and she'll start chasing for you. Signal number four. When you don't care about getting into our pants, we start to think that maybe you have plenty of other pants at your disposal. So not caring about what we think or what we want or if we want you, that says to us, well, maybe he like doesn't care because he has like so many other women to choose from. And when we sit and think that you might have other girls that you could choose from, we think to ourselves, oh my God, that must mean that he's like totally a catch. I should totally find out if I can catch him myself. Really, it just puts you in a higher level position in our eyes because we perceive you as a man that has very high value, that you can have your pick of other ladies, and we would be very lucky if you picked this lady. Number five, being non-reactive gives off an air of stability and confidence. So the reason giving off an air of stability when you are non-reactive towards us or when you don't give a shit about us is because it tells our primitive brain that, oh my God, if a bear were to come and attack us right now, he would be like so calm, cool, and collected and he would probably beat that shit out of that bear. Another reason that non-reactivity is so attractive to us is because it shows to us that maybe a pair of tits and ass isn't going to just make you go running from us the next time another one comes around, which makes us think that you would want to get to know us a lot more, which makes us feel special. And women want to feel fucking special. We all chase that in our lives. And number six, I kind of already mentioned it, but again, you not caring about us, at least physically or not chasing after us, means it's gonna take a lot for you to chase after any other women. Okay, going back to what I was saying about we women wanna feel special, 
basically, we want to know that you picked us for reasons that are particular to who we are, aside from any other woman out there. And that if we do pick you, it's going to take a lot for you to want to stick your dick elsewhere. Nowadays, that's one of women's biggest concerns is cheating because in this swipe-tastic world, we know how easy it could be for you to just pick up your phone and find the next best bang. But if you don't care about getting with us right away, we know for damn sure it's going to take a lot to turn your attention away from us. So those are the six reasons why us ladies start chasing after you when you stop caring about us. And to find out all the other mistakes guys are making out there and to make sure you don't fall victim to any of them, don't forget to click on this token right here for the 10 mistakes that guys make when talking to women. Not only will it help you avoid falling into those traps, it'll tell you exactly how to rebound from them to get the girl that you want. So now that you know these six little secrets as to why we will start chasing you when you stop giving a shit about us, use it to your advantage to stop chasing girls yourself and start getting chased tonight. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.